Hello, I am Nilofar Salimova. I am a graduate of ASA College. I want to talk a little about my journey here at ASA College. So I came to the United States um, to, in 2009. It's five years ago with my family. We immigrated here. And uh, by the time, like right after I came here in the US, I was looking for colleges and or universities to study for. And I was asking a lot of my friends and relatives to recommend me some place to study. And a lot of them, like most of them, recommended ASA College here. Uh, and I decided to come here finally. But uh, the issue was that my English was very, very limited, both verbally and written. I could not really well speak or write in English. So I had to start with some of the basic beginner English courses, which are called um, ESL courses here in the US. So I started with those. And I took two semesters um, of English courses. Then I transitioned to medical courses, which I decided to major for medical assisting. Uh, and it was really, really challenging. It was really tough for me to become comfortable with the American culture, with the American students, to work with them, to study with them. But the uh, positive side, the good side of it was that um, here the students, the professors, the counselors were very, very helpful, very supportive and encouraging. They are ready for you to become successful. They direct you, they support you towards your dreams, towards your goals. So that was my advantage here, actually, at ASA College. So I uh, eventually started to become comfortable with the environment, with the culture, with the college. Then after a few semesters, after about like three, three and a half semesters, I started to become involved in many um, extracurricular sort uh, activities, actually, uh, besides my courses, besides my medical and English courses. They were, um, they were uh, inter uh, Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, Peers for Careers Club, Medical Terminology and Anatomy Clubs, Toastmaster, um, Salsa Dancing Club, and World Cultures, um, and etc. There were like tens of them I was involved. They were really, really fun um, outside of the class. And uh, after a few semesters of becoming active member of those clubs, I was actually um, elected as the chapter president for uh, the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society and um, a campus president for Peers for Careers Club. Uh, those are the extracurricular activities here at ASA, which I really enjoyed. Now I want to talk a little about the medical courses, which were medical um, terminology, clinical courses, um, anatomy and physiology courses. Um, uh, the professors here for the lecture courses were amazing. They were very supportive, very knowledgeable. Um, but uh, besides that, we had many clinical courses, m clinical facilities that help students to apply those theoretical knowledge, the lecture materials to the real world setting, to the clinical setting. And they had all the equipment, all the opportunities for you to actually apply those um, skills that you learned in class, those theories you actually learn hands-on practice. And you really get to practice there a lot. And uh, the, you all your clinical practices are supervised by the very knowledgeable practiced uh, clinicians, professors. Uh, so it was very helpful for me to learn those um, courses to apply theories. And um, so I finished those medical courses. I graduated in 2012, January, with the associate's degree in medical assisting. But before I go there, I want to mention a little bit about my externship as well. In the last semester at ASA College, the, um, in your program, they let you do the internship program at Hasbro or any other medical facilities based on your major. I got an offer, internship offer at Beth Israel Hospital in New York City. And I did my internship there for about four months. And they really, um, they liked me because I mastered my skills here at ASA uh, with the support of uh, professors. So they decided to um, offer me a position, medical assisting position at Beth Israel. But unfortunately, I could not accept the offer because I was accepted at Hunter College of CUNY to do my bachelor's um, of science in nursing. So I, I decided to uh, study, continue my education at Hunter College instead of um, accepting the offer. Uh, so I could not get that. 
Um, so I did my two years of prerequisites in nursing at Hunter College. Then I transferred to NYU, um, New York University to do my clinical courses, clinical sequence in nursing. And that's where I am right now. I have two more semesters to go to get my bachelor's of science in nursing. And after that, I want to get my master's in um, certified registered um, nurse anesthetist um, at Columbia University. And then after that, hopefully I'll do my doctorate in the same field and we'll see. Uh, but what I really wanna emphasize in this um, particular matter is that ASA has become a really, really foundational part of my career, part of my goal. And um, ASA has helped me a lot to become who I am today, to be where I am today. So that's where I am really, really, really thankful for um, to ASA. Um, I really want to thank you for all the opportunities, um, for all the developmental developments um, that I gained. And I would definitely recommend the scholarship to future students, especially who are struggling with their English, who are uh, new to America and struggling to adjust to the culture and to the environment.